Hi, Maurice here. Welcome to this video where I quickly want to show you how to convert a React application scaffolded out with Create React App to use Fight and some of the advantages. So I've got an application here. It's not huge, but I generated a bunch of components, so it takes a bit of time to start up. With Create React App, it takes like 9 to 10 seconds to start up, and my PC is quite fast. See, a bunch of components here. Now, how fast would that be in Vite? Well, it's going to be a lot faster. So how do we switch over to Vite? The first thing we need to do is create a Vite config file. And I'm going to drag the one in I did in the previous video where I did the initial demo. It's pretty small. It just depends on two packages. So let's install them. The plugin React Refresh, which is React specific and Vite itself. So that's the install done. Next thing I need to do is create a script. So I'll create a Vite script and I'll include the dash dash open option to make it closer to what Create React App does. You can leave that out, but this will open a new browser tab to run the application. Another change we have to make is the index.html. Create React App uses one which is in the public folder and Vite actually wants one which is in the root of your project. We need to make a few changes to that. There is this percent public URL percent which Vite doesn't like, so we have to get rid of that. The other thing Vite wants is to know where to start executing the code. So at the bottom of our body we add a script element. We make a type module and we point it to our, the entry point of our application. So in this case, the index.tsx in the source folder. So as we can see, Vite now starts up in about a quarter of a second. If I do so again, about the same time. So a quarter of a second instead of 10 seconds. Pretty sweet. I like it. So one of the reasons Vite is so fast is that it uses ESBuild under the hood. Another reason is it just compiles the files which are actually needed. So in this case most components aren't needed immediately so they won't be compiled until actually needed. Now I have run into one issue with Vite, one thing which is not compatible and that's env files. If you use the .env files then with create react app and Vite, the naming is a bit different. With Vite, you have to use the Vite underscore prefix. It won't recognize the standard create React app prefixes. But that's a small difference, and most of the time I don't use environment variables at all. So pretty sweet. I'm sure I'll be using Vite a lot more often.